Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at the geometric distribution. Now, really, this is a straightforward enough uh, problem mathematically, but there's one big thing you have to know about it, and that is that there are actually two different types of the geometric distribution, and you really have to be careful about which one you're being asked about, okay? So that's the real point of this question. Anyway, so let's just look at the worked example here. There is a constant probability of 0.1, that the power supply in a telecoms network will not start, okay? So that's our probability of success and the definition of a success, and, and the power supply not starting. You are requested to calculate the probability that the power supply will fail the fifth time it is activated, okay? So that is the occurrence of the first success on the fifth trial, okay? Now, this scenario requires the use of the geometric distribution, specifically the type 1 distribution. We're going to sort of talk about that shortly. The question asks us, asks us to examine the probability that the first success uh, will occur on the fifth trial and find the probability of that. Okay, so that's essentially the concept behind the type 1 definition. What is the probability that the first success will happen on a particular trial? Okay, and this particular particular trial is the fifth trial. So k is equal to five here in this case. The success success is a case is the case where the power supply in the uh, telecoms network will not start, and we have a probability of zero point one zero for that. The failure is the case that the power supply will start, and the probability of that is zero point nine. Okay. So again, just in case you're not used to this idea of a Bernoulli trial, the success is the usually considered to be the less likely of two possible outcomes from a trial where there's just two outcomes, okay? And in this case, so it doesn't mean success and failure in real world terms. It actually sort of really means the probability of each of the two events, that either of the two events that can occur, and the success being the less probable of the two. Now, so I'm backtracking a bit here. This is an important part here. So what is the difference between the type 1 and the type 2 distribution? So the geometric distribution is either one of two discrete distributions, okay? Now we're looking at the first one here already. Type 1 geometric distribution, the probability distribution of the number x of Bernoulli trials needed to get one success, supported on the set 1, 2, 3, okay? So... That's a bit of, a, you know, the proper definition there. So the geometric distribution gives the probability that the first success of, a, uh, the first occurrence of success requires k independent trials, okay? Each with success probability p, okay? So that ha the, the success probability p has to be consistent throughout, okay? And what we're interested in, how long it takes you to get the first success, k trials. If the probability of success on each trial is p, then the probability that the kth trial out of k trials is the first success is as follows. So this is the key thing here. 1 minus p to the power of k minus 1 times p. Okay, so that is the first one there. That's the first probability. I'll just make a note of that there. So we're going to use that later on. Okay. Now let's just look at type 2 there, just for the sake of clarity. Okay, so type 2 geometric distribution. This is the distribution of the number of y equals x minus 1 of failures before the first success. So that's what we're interested in here when we're talking about the type 2 distribution. The numbers of failures before the first success. And it's supported on the set 0, 1, 2. Okay, so if you get it right first time, that means you've had 0 uh, failures before the first success. Okay, so that's the difference there. The support is one thing that is different okay let's go back up there you see it's one two three here and down here it is zero one two three okay so just that's one key thing there okay the following form of the ge geometric distribution is used for modeling the number of failures before the first success Okay, so it is simply 1 minus p to the power of k times p. So it's very similar to the one we have before. The real difference is that the power of k there is different. 
Uh, up above it was k minus 1, 1 minus p to the power of k minus 1, now it is just 1 minus p to the power of k, because k is the number of failures before the first success. Now there is a relationship between the two as well, okay, so that's well worth keeping in mind. Okay. Now, which of these is called the geometric distribution as a matter of convention and convenience? So, when you're doing undergraduate statistics, you're probably using the type 1 geometric distribution. But as you get into more uh, complicated examples, then you start to see the type 2 a bit more. These two different uh, geometric distributions should not be confused with one another. Once, often the name shifted geometric is adopted for the former one, the distribution of the number of x. Okay. However, to avoid ambiguity, it is considered wise to indicate which is intended by mentioning the support specifically. Okay. And then that is very much making this clear, this part here. Okay. So let's go back to the question we were asked. Calculate the probability that x equal to 5, that the first success will be on the fifth trial. And the probability of that, and we're using the type 1 geometric distribution, 1 minus p to the power of k minus 1 times p, that is 0 0.9 to the power of 4 times 0 0.1, and that gives us 0 0.06561. You don't have to go to as many decimal places as I do, but, you know, it helps a lot so that's the answer there so again this is the type one probability uh, the type one specification for reducing that probability there okay now just as a quick remark the r programming language uses the type two as a default and as i said before you will encounter type two uh, once you get into more complicated examples or more advanced examples or so on so in that case, we'd be interested in the probability of four failures before this first success. So the corresponding calculation there, probability of y equal to four, okay? So d geom four, uh, probability 0 0.1, okay? That's how you might use it, the R programming language to calculate that, okay? And you get the same result, okay? So it's not a big difference between type 1 and type 2 uh, when you're trying to get an intuition for it but just actually it just know that you will get if you didn't know that r uses type 2 you'd be looking at this and thinking what happened here do you know what i mean uh, you'd be sort of scratching your head if you didn't know that this was type 2 and that there was a type 2 okay so that's the key thing there okay okay we'll leave it there